Welcome to our channel. Please subscribe and like it. Thank you. Princess Catherine breathed new life into the luxurious ruby flower necklace and its appearance after 30 years of neglect. Appearing in this ruby floral necklace at a banquet at Buckingham Door in 2017, at the time, the Duchess of Cambridge surprised everyone. What's more, the event caused quite a furor at the time. Today I am going to tell you the amazing story of this beautiful expensive jewelry. This magnificent piece of jewelry belonging to Margaret Greville had not been seen by the public for a full 30 years. The young Princess Elizabeth received it as a wedding present from her parents, Queen Mother and Father George VI, way back in 1947. This beautiful necklace encrusted with rubies and diamonds was purchased from Boucheron in 1907 by Mrs. Greville, a well-known socialite at the time and a close friend of King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. By the way, they were very close indeed. In confirmation of this I can cite the fact that George VI and Queen Elizabeth spent their honeymoon at her country residence. Margaret had no children and bequeathed her entire extensive jewelry collection to the British monarchs. After her death in 1942 all of Greville's jewels were inherited by Queen Elizabeth. She, in turn, kept only a small part of it and gave the rest to her eldest daughter for her wedding. It's worth noting that this necklace, officially called the Greville Ruby and Diamond Floral Bandeau Necklace, became a real jewel in her jewelry collection. The eldest daughter often wore it to various social and official events, including her famous tour of Canada in 1951. This incomparable jewel remained her favorite piece of jewelry, even after she officially became queen in 1952. The reason is simple. The necklace itself is made in the shape of the letter V, and it was in harmony with the V-neck and the dresses styles of that time. True, for this the queen, who was not very fond of long necklaces, had to shorten it a little by removing two parts from the ends. But, starting somewhere in the mid-1960s, the number of public appearances of the necklace began to diminish. The last significant appearance of the ornament was at the opening ceremony of the British Parliament in 1983. Another time Queen Elizabeth wore the jewel for her official portrait in 1987. And now, 30 years later, the Duchess of Cambridge wore the necklace along with the love knot tiara of Queen Mary and the Collingwood pearl earrings of Princess Diana of Wales during a state banquet honoring King Felipe and Queen Letizia of Spain. In my personal opinion, the Duchess cleavage and dress looked so stunning together with the necklace that I am again looking forward to another opportunity to admire this beautiful image. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and like this video.